I got a present for you. Oh yeah? Is it the camera in the face? Uh-huh. Thank you. Mm. Yay! <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Is it everything you wanted? Kind of crappy. Ah. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, I'm just going to put it back here because I love it so much. Don't throw it. <laughs> We are home and it is Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. We've got plans with family tomorrow and we've got our stuff to make our Thanksgiving goodies. I'm gonna be making stuffing, mashed potatoes. Matt's gonna do a broccoli cheese casserole. We're doing two gravy, but that's already made. And then we're doing two of these roasts. Roasts. These are delicious. It's like a wheat base roast with the stuffing in the middle and then you add the gravy on it and it's absolutely amazing. And this other one in here is crusted one. It comes with gravy too. This one's really good because it's got tons of stuffing in there. So we're gonna get started with all of this. I also picked up some stuff for care packages and the plan is tomorrow, later in the afternoon slash evening, Matt and I want to go downtown Austin and pass out some care packages. So I'm gonna put these together, show you guys what I got after I get it all sorted out. <laughs> Sip. Stay. 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 No. Stay. <laughs> Nope, no. <laughs> My boys. All right, so the mashed potatoes are pretty much ready and this should be enough for Matt. I need to mix in the rest of this butter. I probably, I mean, this was pretty much fresh whenever I opened it, so that shows you guys how much butter goes in here. So when it comes to holidays and gatherings, don't skimp on the butter. There are other times to be healthy, but I think whenever you're sharing with a large group, especially whenever you're making food for more than just yourself, don't skimp on the flavor, aka the butter and the oil. Baked potatoes, heated it according to the directions. I use this earth balanced butter, a little bit of this unsweetened cashew milk, pepper, salt, herbs de Provence, nutritional yeast, and this original seasoning blend. Tons and tons of seasoning. These are, I already taste tested them, but they are quite delicious. And really, I thought it was gonna make more, so this will probably be enough for Matt. We'll see. Oh, and uh, got Christmas tunes. Matt was nice enough to start a fire here, so get the nice fireplace going. Stay. No, they're coming with us. No, 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 no. Stay. Let's go next door. Stay. Come on. I'm gonna play Christmas music. No, thank you. Yeah. It's good. You, this is. His privates are in your face. It's still. Business end. Yeah, yeah, right here. Down. What are you doing? Come down. Oh. I might break the chair though. <laughs> it's like he wants in your lap, but he's uncomfortable once he's up there. Yeah. You're not a lap dog. What's on your face? You got. You dusted the wall. No. Okay. Hey. <laughs> so, um, I think I might have I'm missing a scarf. Um, so we have gloves and little scarves to add to the bags, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to throw these in there. Um, and we were thinking about taking them over to downtown Austin tonight, but we have to go to Austin in the morning anyway. So I think we're going to take them tomorrow morning uh, when we have to go by there. 
but yeah, I'm just adding scarves and gloves. I'm pretty excited about this little round of care packages. I think the real reason why we're not going tonight is because you're wearing something like that. I brought a change of clothes you <laughs> told me to. I don't know why you're embarrassed by me. You'd scare the homeless away. Happy elf. You're probably Happy right, elf. but I would still be giving them something. True. <laughs> Do you think they're going to like my outfit? They're going to love it. Love Do you think it. I'm dressed up too nice? I mean, cause you could have dressed down, but then, like, would you really be you if you did? No. Right. So, don't worry about it. Let's go. I mean, I'm really classy today. You are classy. Look at you. Okay. All right. Well, let's go. Happy Thanksgiving! Did you just run here and leave Matt behind? Yeah. <laughs> you were so excited. You were an elf and Nash goes like, Pam, what is this? And then Victoria's Secret is back there. Director. Welcome back to the number two um, video. Remember when the Iron Golem won and all of the bad guys lose? Well, Steve was still alive. Mm. And we're doing the number two part. Oh. Well, it was a wonderful day and then there was a zombie. It was a zombie pig man, and Batman destroyed it. Psh, psh. Blech, blech. And it loses his armor, and then he got the armor. But one day, <laughs> there was a there was an iron gong and a zombie robot. And his name was Steve that was controlling it. Uh, evil Steve. One day, uh, a zombie pigman came. Whoa. But, Bearman flied in the air and poof, with his sharp pointy things, he dead. And then he broke, and Batman got his thing back. He, 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 he. But he walked with no legs. But the Iron Golem got the zombie pig man, and then, but a robot zombie came, and he. Push with his head, still didn't work. He kicked with his feet, still didn't work. He punched with his hand, but he knew what can break it. The sword, and he broke it. The end. Mm -hmm.